Hello and welcome on back everybody. So, New World's right around the corner. It's like six days or so of me posting this video that will be dropping in the closed beta. It's going to be until the August 2nd and then we'll get a period of no New World. Well, hello to you too. Anyways, as Clyde was saying, August is when it's actually dropping, but it's also when the closed beta is ending. So, what I want to do before the closed beta hits... Sorry, Clyde was distracting me. What I want to do before the closed beta hits is come up with a few ideas of builds to go for. It's not going to be, like, exact, because I don't know, like, numbers that they're going to be, like, heavy armor, what it's going to give. I know they're giving a damage boost now unless they took that away because I think medium and light we're going to give like more than heavy I don't think heavy gets any because heavy gets the most protection so I don't think it'd be right for heavy armor to actually get damage bonus since that's supposed to be kind of like the tank rule so if you want to go DPS you're going to be going light or medium if you want to be the tankiest you're going to go heavy you could do a, I think it's a full set now do we have a set bonus for going full I don't know well, let's see but with all the nodes that they're adding with the attributes, the attribute nodes, if you don't know what those are, I covered those a while back in one of my videos. A uh, rough explanation is, if you've played, say, Corner Exiles, right, you look at their attributes, you hit a certain point in there, like say you go up 10, you unlock a little special node that gives you a buff. You go up another, say, 20 points, you're now at 30, you get another node, so on and so forth right up until 300 it's not gonna be those exactly I think it's like 50 to 150 to 200 to 250 and then 300 caps at 300 then you get I'm getting off topic we're here to talk about other stuff so weapons we're gonna talk about intelligence first now intelligence has a few options and they actually have the rapier to play with now that's right they have the rapier so fire staff primarily scales off of intelligence now and they also have the ice call it but if you want to mix things up a little bit because you can use two weapons you can just go fire staff ice call it peer intelligence just easy peer intelligence with medium or light armor medium armor for a little bit more tanky but still have that good damage boost, you know? I think that would be something good. It, the Ice Gauntlet would give a lot of CC, and I think the Fire Staff would give a lot of damage. I'm not saying the Ice Gauntlet's not going to have any damage to it. Don't get me wrong. I know it's going to have a lot of CC, too, because, I mean, it's ice. We all know that ice is usually for immobilizing and slowing, right? Fire Staff is just there to burn your enemies to the ground that's what it's there for now if you want to go a little bit of a hybrid you can go gauntlet rapier or if you want to stick to range you can even go musket and gauntlet per se or you can you can go fire staff and rapier you know there's a few good mixes that you can do with it I believe Both of the hybrid weapons, the rapier and musket, scale both with dex and intelligence. Of course, intelligence is what we're talking about, intelligence, but primarily dex on those two. I think I'm missing one. Which one was I missing? Life staff? No, life staff is focus. We'll get to that one in a minute. Rapier? No. Uh, what does spears scale off of? Oh, spear is strength and dex. Yeah, Clyde's that the best. So that one's out. But those are the weapons you can use for intelligence. Now, we said life staff. Life staff scales off of focus. Now, unfortunately, there is not another weapon in the game that scales with focus. So life staff doesn't have a hard secondary you can go with, like, Fire Staff, which we just talked about, and Gauntlet. Because Gauntlet and Fire Staff both scale heavily 
off of intelligence. So that's big on Fortune. Now, hopefully, hopefully soon rather than later. I know they just added the Ice Comet, but I, I feel like Focus needs another secondary or even a hybrid weapon to scale off of, you know? It needs its own secondary that it can go with, just like Focus. I'm not saying you don't have a good secondary for the Life Staff because people are probably going to use Life Staff like crazy anyways because... We all love a good healer. A good tank and a good healer. Now, for Dex. Dex has quite a bit of options. As we were just talking about the musket, the spear, the sword and shield. Now let's let's start that over. So let's go with the hard hard first. So we got bow. I believe is both the only is the primary one that scales with yes bow is the hard dex weapon there is no other weapon that scales hard with I got hiccups that scales hard with it which is unfortunate but I guess it is what it is so if you're going hard dex you're probably gonna be using a bow you don't have to use a bow but you're probably gonna be using a bow if you're going hard dex so your options for dex are going to be both for hard. Then you got the musket, the spear, the sword and shield, the hatchet, and the rapier. You got a lot. You got six options to go with dex. Dex has a lot of uh, a lot to go with. Now, with the variety of weapons that you have for dex, you can go full range. You can go half range, half close. You can go full up close with, say, the rapier and the spear. Spear would be good at control, pushing, pulling, controlling your enemy like that. Pa the parries with the rapier would also be good to pair up with it. I'm pretty sure that they both scale primarily with dex, but their secondary scale with other stuff. Like the rapier is dex and intel, while the spear is dex and strength. Right? Yeah. It scales with dex and strength. So there could be some losses there, but if I'm not mistaken, if you're going dex, dex will increase your crit chance. Intelligence is crit damage. So if you're going chance, you're going to want a little bit of intelligence, anyways. So it would still be pretty fair. To go with those two. Now, if you want to be kind of a tankier, pretty sure they got rid of Berserker with like just remove the invulnerability with the hatchet. So not everybody's gonna be running just hatchet everywhere again. So it's gonna be super nice. Get to see some variety. No more hatchet and life staff from the preview. Which I'll of course, as you see, there's gonna be preview footage rolling just just so you guys got something to look at you're gonna sit here looking at my face the entire time don't want to put you guys through that again that's that's my bad anyways so we're talking about some of the deck stuff now if you want to be a tank with the decks you could still do that for sure because sword and shield still scales with the decks so you can go spear sword and shield you can be an off tank for when the main tank needs the switch because you'll have plenty of other options you can go rapier sword and shield spear sword and shield hatchet sword and shield you can even throw in a little bit of range with the bow or the musket you could even just do a spear throw build or a hatchet throw build you know you could even just go hatchet throw and spear throw don't even pick up a gun you could do that it is up to you entirely I am curious to see how a thrower would even work in the game. Not work, but how well they would stack up in the game. Like, somebody just goes pure throw. Like, they don't use a bow. They don't use a musket. They don't use fire staff or gauntlet. They just go on the throwing side. But they'll have a melee option if people get up too close. Like, if they, with the spear, and they go throw, you can have some CC in there as well. Push them away. You can vault away. Or something along those lines. 
Now, we don't have a weapon or anything that scales with Khan, so Khan's out. Khan's just HP, Khan's your strength. And if you guys have not watched my offhand video, go check that out. I talked about a weapon that would scale with Khan. If you're interested, it is something that I I like. I like to I like to protect on it, you know. Anyways, so strength. Strength is what I will be going, and the weapons that you will have with strength. Like if you want to go strength, you will have pretty much just just as much with strength as you did dex. You'll have the hard ones first. You got the great axe and the great hammer. Those are the two big strength weapons. And then you got the sword and shield, the hatchet, the spear. No, that's it. Dex has one more. Right? I'm not forgetting one. The great axe, the hammer, sword and shield. Hatchet, spear. No, that's all of them. So, with strength, you don't really you you if you're going hybrid if we're if you're going full in on strength, you're probably not gonna do too many crits. But if you're going like just full in on strength, you won't really have a range option like Dex does or Intelligence does. Like if you use a great axe and hammer, you're gonna have a lot of CC that you could do. And you'll probably be hitting hard for sure. But you won't have very many range options. You'll have some gap closures with the charge on the the great axe, of course. I wonder if you can cancel that. Ah, that's I'm getting off topic. But I'm assuming everybody's gonna start mix matching because you're not gonna just go full in on one stat. Unless you're a tank and you're going in on con just for that HP. Which I will probably be going strength and con are going to be the focuses. I'll probably, of course, pick up the other stats as well, like focus for my mana, helping with some mana, intelligence, and some decks. But primarily, strength and con. Con first, then strength. Gotta get that tanky HP. But the things you could do, you could just go DPS or you can go tank. With Dex, you can go DPS or tank as well if you wanted to. You could even go a tank healer if you wanted to. Heavy armor, tank. I'm getting off topic. That's different. So let's start with tank. You can go sword shield. Sword and shield is going to be your tank weapon because that's the one that generates threat. Now, if you want to be a tank, that's the weapon you're going to have to use. I know life staff also generates some hatred or threat with their heals. But I'm pretty sure Sword and Shield is going to generate the most threat with the Bash and Charge from the last patch notes. Not the last patch notes, but one of the patch notes I read. Those are going to be, that weapon is going to be the tank roll. If you, you don't have to use the, you can go Sword and Shield and still go DPS and still be a little bit tanky. You can go like a bruiser route. But if you want a tank, you're going to have to use Bash or charge one of those two which I believe charge is the AOE bash is the single target yeah and the build that I'm gonna be rocking again sword shield great axe sword shield primarily and then when I need to swap off and let the other like if I'm running with another tank swap off and let them do great axe or I do great axe while they tank because they have five man dungeons now Now, if you're going DPS, you can go either the hard hitters or you can go with one of the hybrid weapons like sword, and sh sword shield, spear, sword and shield, hatchet or hatchet and spear. You can go hatchet and spear. You can go with complete even dex and strength because they're both dex and strength hybrids primarily. I think the hatchet guy is, I think hatchet and spear are primarily dex secondary strengths now. Well, Sword and Shield is primary strength and Dex secondary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it got swapped to that. I mean, it makes sense. Spear, you throw. Hatchet, you throw. Yeah, we'll see when we get to the game. But those are some of the things that you can do. Light armor or 
medium armor because you're probably going to be more up close and personal with the melee-ish weapons, even though you can throw and control your enemies a little bit more, so you're going to want to use those. But as I was saying earlier, now I can get back onto this. You could be whatever you want. Don't say that. Don't think that I'm telling you what you have to use with those. Like I'm not telling you have to use a hatchet and spear together or anything like that. You know, I the only thing, only thing, is if you want to be a tank, you're. I'm encouraging you to use a sword and shield because that is, to my knowledge, the only weapon in the game that has built-in threat generation. I think there might be some gems and stuff you can get, maybe. I think I saw somewhere on one of the stat boosts, on one of the images they showed that showed threat generation. Maybe, I'm not sure, we'll have to see when we get our hands on the clothes test. Yeah, but anyways guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any ideas that you would like to share on sub builds that you guys want to share or maybe you're going to start with some that i missed i missed a lot i am sure there's loads of different builds that you can do now especially with the nodes the nodes are going to split up so many builds of course we all know there's going to be a meta that's that goes without saying but i encourage you to do what you think is best what you think is fun what fits you best meta might not be the best for you you play you and you do you best. Don't try to copy what other people do because it might not be the best for you, you know? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Share your other ideas that you guys have in the comments below. I'd love to talk with it. I love talking about 3D crafting builds. It always gives me more and more ideas. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And if not, I will see you in New World. Take care and be well, everybody. Stay safe and stay amazing.